Hello everyone and welcome to part 16 of the Basic Training Booster Pass Edition. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know about Sky High Sunday on 150cc. This is probably one of the more polarizing courses in the game, but before we get into my thoughts on the course, let's check out the guide. The recommended build for this course is going to be the usual Waluigi tryhard build, but with leaf tires in place of rollers for the added anti-grav speed. Before the run begins, hold down the item button so that you can use a mushroom as soon as you start moving, and then trick off the glider ramp. You want to enter this ice cream cone kind of early because you can actually trick off of it twice. The timing is somewhat specific for this though. If you mash too hard, then you'll start the second trick animation before you get the first trick boost, which pretty much cancels that first trick. So what you want to do is space them out in such a way that you get the second trick after the first trick boost comes out. It's not quite as obnoxious as it sounds, but it will require a bit of practice. The world record does this bit pretty similarly, except that they do motion glider at the start instead of just tricking like I do. After the two ice cream cone tricks, we're going to land and trick off the first set of stairs below. Make sure to keep holding up on the joystick because this course has F-Zero physics where you can change direction in mid-air, and after the first stair trick, holding up will allow you to get down to the second set of stairs more quickly to get another trick boost. Now just wait until after you land and then start a left trick. You want to approach this turn from the inside and then start holding right on the joystick to grab both the coins. Mini turbo trick off the top of the stairs and then basically rinse and repeat for the second set of stairs. I say rinse and repeat as if it's easy to grab all four of the coins here, but just to be clear, the F-Zero physics combine with the stairs to make this section of the track a colossal nightmare. I don't have much advice other than just to practice, but if you're finding it really hard, then just don't take the second turn as widely and instead just grab one of the coins up the second set of stairs. In either case, mini turbo trick off of them and then make your way to the left, grabbing coin 5 along the way. But other than that, there's not much to talk about with the rest of the lap to be honest. One thing to point out is that you want to be holding down on the joystick until you get to the colorful ice cream section so that you can cut out the downward dips of each of the ramps. Once you get to the ice cream section, avoid all the coins and just take the turn as tightly as possible releasing your drift once you've built up a super mini turbo. Finish up the lap by grabbing coins 8 through 10 and then do a left hop into a right drift before moving on to lap 2 so that you can do some glider vectoring. Laps 2 and 3 play pretty much the same as lap 1 except for the mushroom spot. Once you get to the ice cream section and do your left drift, you want to use your mushroom in such a way that as soon as the mushroom boost runs out, you can chain it into a super mini turbo to keep yourself at boost speed for as long as possible. That's it for the strats, let's check out my current personal best. This is usually the point where I talk about the track, but I'm going to be honest, this is probably my least favorite track in the entire game now. Not only do we have the issue I mentioned earlier with the combination of F-Zero physics and stairs, but the course is just so, so boring. As one of my followers on Twitter pointed out, there's an irony to this course being so bland given that its theme is based entirely around sweet treats. And while I could easily spend the next two minutes whining about it, I wanted to not have a super negative vibe to this video, so I'm going to just talk about my thoughts on Wave 2 as a whole since this is the last track in Wave 2. Now overall, Wave 2 is not that great in my opinion. Well, to be precise, it's just really inconsistent in terms of the quality of the tracks. For example, New York Minute, Waluigi Pinball, and Sky High Sunday are all entirely bereft of useful shortcuts, which makes them pretty boring to play both in time trials and online. You've also got Calamari Desert, which is okay to time trial, but pretty awful to play online, and Mushroom Gorge, which would be a good track if it weren't so f***ing broken. This amounts to more than half of the Wave 2 tracks being mid-tier or below in my book. However, then you've got tracks like Snowland and Mario Circuit 3, which in my opinion are both heavily underrated, and Sydney Sprint, which is probably my favorite track in the game right now. So yeah, it's like, Wave 2 has some pretty janky tracks, but it also has some absolute bangers. If you compare this to Wave 1, there aren't really that many tracks that stand out, aside from maybe Ninja Hideaway, which has its own problems, but you also don't really have anything that's very majorly offensive. Hell, even with Choco Mountain, which was my least favorite track in Wave 1, the worst that I could say about it is that it's just kinda boring. What this all amounts to is that in a hypothetical scenario where Nintendo were to come out tomorrow and say, we're gonna only keep one of the two waves and get rid of the other one for the rest of this game's life cycle, I'd probably pick Wave 1 over Wave 2 because even though the bangers in Wave 2 are a lot better than the ones in Wave 1, I've got a much higher chance of having a good time with your average Wave 1 track. That being said though, Sky High Sunday notwithstanding, I do definitely enjoy Wave 2 and I am really excited to see what future installments bring to the table. And that's everything you need to know about Sky High Sunday on 150cc. 
If there's one good thing I can say about this course, it's that it's probably one of the easier courses to get within four seconds of the world record on, and hopefully this guide helped you out in that endeavor. If you did find the video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and a comment to let me know since this is the best way to help the video get spread to more people. Other than that though, thank you all very much for taking the time out of your day to do some basic training, and as always, I will see you in the next video.